All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwa, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. And I cannot wait until this be more manifested. Because as you see, the world that we live in is totally wicked. It's a lot of death, a lot of injustice, a lot of sorrow, a lot of affliction, a lot of pestilences. You know, just things that contrary to what the Bible said it should be. You want to know why? Because nobody followed the laws of the Lord. Nobody give reverence to the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but the men of the Lord and the women that believe. That's it. Small sanctuary, as the scriptures call us in Ezekiel uh, 11 and 16. All right. We are small sanctuary. Though Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. Uh, um, Isaiah 10 and 20. So, you know, there is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is showing you that this is the case. Because see, here's what happened. As you see, set for the elect, he have his eyes upon his elect. But everything else he turned his back to. So you have the majority that's under a wicked vibration. And he's showing you this is what happened when I'm not the focal point in the world. This is what happens when people don't reverence me and go and follow after my ways. Get a whole bunch of death, whole bunch of adultery, whole bunch of abominations, a whole bunch of things that you shouldn't be doing. Men putting their stuff in men, women bumping carpets together. All right. It's just a whole bunch of like put it like this. This is how you know how bugged out you are. Talk about you people who are in the alphabet community. You condemn the heterosexuals, but that's how you got here. Now, imagine if everybody went your way. Mankind would be instinct. Life don't come from a man and man and woman and woman. But let me, you know, digress for this video could stay up. So, you know, but look what happens when you give a little uh, a little freedom because, you know, ain't no such thing as free will. But just to make the point, a little freedom to man. See, the free will is this. The Lord allowed the devil to rule this world. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So he allowed the wicked to go after their heart desires. And look and look what you get. And then you have the same person who life is in shambles. Like. The scriptures talks about, I forgot where that scripture at, but it said it's nothing more worse than a poor, proud man. Like you're poor. Anybody who live paycheck to paycheck, I don't give a damn if you make 500,000 a year. Yes, you do OK for yourself. But see, here's the thing, though. You're such an oppressing world that now you're in a different tax bracket. Your bills ain't like a poor man's bills. Everything is here to oppress you. If you can, if you have to go to work, you got a boss. You can't take vacations anytime you want. Listen, you're, you're not rich. You're not free. And, and, and guess what? Hey, you have a boss. You have a ruler. See, the only one that's considered blessed in this world is the elites. Because blessed means to bow. Ain't nobody bowing down to you. I don't give a damn. If you come across, you know, like, because Michael Jackson, right? The biggest star, in my estimation, ever walked the earth. When he used to go. Like when people used to when he used to perform at concerts, right? You had people who would pass out. <laughs> He'll stand still for like five minutes and you have people just crying and women passing out and shit. He was the closest thing to bless, but he still wasn't blessed. Why? Look, look how he went out. And he was crying, talking about uh Tommy uh, Matola is the devil to the one who owned um I forgot the record company at the time. Basically, he was speaking against the record company because basically he wasn't getting the money that he deserved, uh, the ownership that he wanted. So he's not blessed. So the reason I use that example, because you have carnal people out here who are always trying to justify something. But what about, you know, if 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 you go to a Michael Jackson concert and people be passing out still, that's, that's not blessed, man. He still had a he still got a boss. All right. Well, in the kingdom, we will be blessed. All right. But the point is, is that this is all going on under the devil's watch. So you have people who want to call the Bible fairy tales, make make jokes. But you're poor. You're oppressed. You 
And if you're an Israelite, you don't know if you're going to make it home when the police get behind you. But then the scriptures, we, we'll go through the scriptures, right? And tell you that all these things is going to happen to us. I'm just getting a scripture right now while I'm thinking of it. So we'll tell you why these things happen unto you, which no, but nothing and nobody else have ever told you why these things happen. But the prophets in the scriptures. Everything that's happening the World War Three that's brewing up. We've been well. The men of the Lord been telling you for years. Now it's actually happening. That's why Ezekiel thirty three and thirty three, it says that when these things come to pass, then you should know there was a prophet among you. I could never do a video in peace, but yeah. So let me get the scripture. I forgot where I was even talking about. So it says wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law. I always say this. If the world was actually keeping the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the world would be in harmony. Matter of fact, real quick. What is that, Isaiah? <clears throat> With my soul have I desired you in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me, will I seek you early for when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants, that's the people, all right, of the world will learn righteousness. But see, we total gone. We totally gone, man. The people of the world, as the scripture says in Isaiah 60 and 20, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. It's no hope. The Lord got it. It's threshing time, man. It's time to thresh the people of the world, man. The scripture, I mean, the scripture says that the, um, Sins have reached up to heaven in second Ezra 15, five and six. It talks about how wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So now sore famine, death and destruction is coming. So wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. Everybody who have any type of morality, it comes from the Lord, because to be honest, the scriptures was first. Anybody talking about, um, don't lie, don't kill. Those came from the commandments. All right? So morality comes from the scriptures. Don't don't bear false witness. You know, honor your your mother and father. All of this come from the scriptures, man. Trying to make it sound like it's some um um kindergarten stuff. Treat people right the way that you want to be treated. Keep your hands to yourself. Like all of this come from the scriptures, man. So the Lord is going to do all his pleasures. This is the point of the video. The point of the video is that the Lord is doing all his pleasures even right now with the world being wicked. He told the prophet Ezra that the world is going to get worse before it get better. That's the will of the Lord. The Lord is showing you the bitter before the sweet for you can appreciate the sweet that he going to give you. But also our disobedience you're supposed to look to yourself and be like, you know what? I ain't right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is right. That's what the Lord want. That's why he said that he going to save them who are of a broken and contrite spirit. Psalm 34 and 18. He ain't saving nobody that's proud who think that his way is boring or his way ain't the way. But the way that the way that I'm going now is the way because it feels good to the flesh. That's the point. That's the point. That's why the scripture says in Romans 8 and 5 that a car to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And you should know the truth and the truth should make you free. John 8 and 32. All right. So. One of the uh, pleasures of the Lord is destroying his kingdom and setting up his kingdom. All right. Declare from the end, from the beginning. See, no other philosophy, no other book. Declare from the beginning to the end. Genesis through Revelation, the Lord told us everything that's going to happen. It's even secret things that he ain't even revealed to us yet. But that's the time that we heading into when we change in the twinkle of an eye, when we become immortal. Then we're going to know all things. But he gave us just enough to understand what we are part of, to understand what we're looking at. And to do is what we need to do to receive salvation. 
And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures. So the Lord said he's going to destroy two thirds. You're done. Lord willing, I ain't a part of that number. I want to be part of the one third, the elect. All right. If you hear my son in the background, you know, forgive me. But um, so the point is, is that the Lord, he prophesied. That's why this books. What the book is that? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, I think. No book. All right. And further and, and further by these, my son being admonished, which means a stiff warning of making many books. There is no end. And much study is the weariness, weariness of the flesh. Because the only book you're supposed to be studying is the scriptures. Because this is the book of life. It's literally called the book of life. Scripture talks about those who are written in the book of life. Which I hope to be a part of. And guess what? You go into the Egyptian book of dead. You go into uh, the Quran. You go into all these books. Who don't prophesy about the mark of the beast. Who don't tell you what's going to happen from the beginning to the end. They don't give you no answers. But the Bible do when um, when when it comes into the right hands, which is the prophets, the Lord put the Holy Spirit on the prophets and then he break it down. One plus one equals two. He tells you plainly. That's the job of the prophets. So you go into all these um, other books. And they don't prophesy. It's a whole bunch of vain, vain jangling as the scripture calls. <laughs> all right. Empty words. So no matter what, the Lord's counsel going to stand. That's the power that we serve. There is no wisdom, nor knowledge or understanding above the Lord. There are many devices in a man's heart. That's why our mind runs all day, every day. It never stops. Gets on my damn nerves, to be honest. You know, wickedness, righteousness, all, all, all in your thoughts all day. You know, now the people of the world is just straight wickedness so it says there are many devices in a man's heart and when you go on to the word the actual definition of a device is your intentions and desires so you you always have people who say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and the lord said you don't supposed to do that you're supposed to say the lord's will if you do this or do that but guess what nevertheless the counsel of yahweh bashim yahweh shah that shall stand so you're kicking against the pricks, as the scripture says. And then you have people out here who actually think that the way that they're doing is right. But this is what the Lord said about you. There, seem a, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. And a lot of people is going to be guilty of this because the things that you believe in feels good to the flesh. It makes sense to you. So that means that is right. Who the fuck are you? All right. That's why all of y'all is on the path of death. All you unbelievers, all you scoffers. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Hope the Lord give me the desire of seeing certain people die, especially these scoffers and these agents and all of that. Seriously. And it says, um, what is that? I think it's. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. So be grateful, be grateful that that the Lord is do sup with you. If you can understand this truth, that is a blessing because the scripture says a scorner seek of wisdom and find of it not. That's why you have more scoffers and more unbelievers because they're they naturally really don't believe. All right, because I said a scorner seek of wisdom and find of it not. One of them is vocab, right? And he's an Edomite. But knowledge is easy unto him that understand him. So the Lord made it easy for those for, the, for those men who are able to get the truth. But you got a lot of scorners out here because here's the thing. The scripture that I quoted earlier, um, I think I quoted it. But Luke 21 and 25. No, 21 and 15, it says that I would give you a mouth of knowledge that the adversary cannot gainsay nor resist. See that that last part, nor resist. See this will we speak. People can't resist it. Then they have it in the back of their head. Like, what if they write? I got to get more into this. I got to see what they talking about. So they can't resist it. But see, you're a scorner. You're trying to find a loophole for us not to be right instead of accepting it. So you can't get this. So um, the ending on this, going into the be, being grateful of this truth, man. 
Thus saith Yahweh Bashem Shai, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the let, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But he but let him that glory of glory in this, he that that he understandeth and knoweth me. Everybody don't get this opportunity, man. We are blessed. Lord willing, we endure to the end. That I am Yahweh Bashem Shai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things. I delight, say, if Yahweh Bashem El Shai. So your wisdom, your riches, all of that can perish. But the Lord abideth forever. The word abideth forever. And the Lord's will abideth forever. So if you know the Lord, that means the Lord sup with you. All right. So that's a beautiful thing. So all you people out there who don't know the Lord, don't want to know the Lord, want to continue to talk shit. As scripture says, there is a way that seemed right unto a man, but at the end of are the paths of death. So all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.